Hello there, sir. Good day. You're looking a little creaky today. Thanks. So, so I tried. I feel creaky too, though. Yeah. We, well, I mean, we had. I that. could just hear you creak. <laughs> we watched Lord of the Rings for a couple of movies last night. They gave me an excuse to have a second cheat meal this week. Oh yay! Oh boy. Feel like trash. <laughs> oh boy, I gotta yeah. stop eating these fucking blizzards, man. <laughs> <laughs> they really get you, hey? Feeling like I got hit with a rock or something. Yeah, you kind of did oh. a dairy rock. No good. All right. Well, no good. I didn't do that. I feel better than that. <laughs> All right, so we're talking more viewer nonsense, tattoo nice. awesomeness, and all that jazz today. Another big batch of crap. Yeah, here we go. Keep her coming. So we're going to start <laughs> off with an email one. Um, so this, my wife had this raven done a long time ago before we met and wanted to do a cover-up. I talked her into letting me try a rework on, oh, hang on, on it. This picture, ah, man, why can't I read this morning? This pic has fresh (laughs) after it. I think I'll do one more round to really get it right, but I'm really pleased with it. What do you think? So we got this raven. What did it look like first? Looks like there's some black on black done in here. It does look like there's some black on (laughs) black. That's kind of clever, but. I see purple? Yeah. Like. uh, There's some depth achieved here. I honestly think he can take it one step further. Yep. Like, yeah, I think some white highlights in here. Well, there is like so he bordered everything I in see white. Some white, but like don't limit yourself to that. But like you can get some white in that exactly. bird. Exactly, you right? can get some white in the bird. You can get some white in the branches. You can actually make a lot of white depth. in that uh, that script too. Yeah. Well, he so again similar thing. He took it. So one of the tricks that we have is like if something's bleeding out, you can put white yep. to kind of hard border it. And he's done that on the Amen. tops of these letters. <laughs> Well, I feel know. like we're doing that right now. Like yeah, it's, really. It's preserving the black yep. to have that white there. Yeah, you need them to kind of Bizarre. like buttress each other. It's very, a lot of really weird stuff that you can learn. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. It's a very yin-yang concept going on. Mm-hmm. But I would just say, like, remember that like the white will turn to a gray, so you can use that to, yep. to your advantage in this. It might look crazy at first, and you be, might be putting white on there and be like, oh, this is too bright, but it won't be in the end. No, it's not. It's the same thing. It's like... Um, when I got my face tattoos done again, yep. I was looking at them like, oh, these are really bright. Mm-hmm. I didn't like how bright they were at first. And now they look like, awesome. When I first went and looked over at them, I had a delayed reaction with it. Yeah. And I knew I would. Like, yeah. I braced for that. Because Terry's like, what do you think? And I'm like, don't ask me right now. <laughs> like, it's like they were way too bright. Yeah. And now they're like, they chilled out and yeah. I love them. Yeah. So they're exactly what they needed to be. But yep. yeah. Anyway, this tattoo, I would, I think to, to give it its fair praise or or uh bashing we would have need to have seen the seen first it before part. Yeah. but it i can imagine it was pretty bad probably like i can imagine that this is because this looks pretty cool on all honesty i don't mind this for what it is mm-hmm. but is it really big or is this just super close up where is it's this super close up like like where the hell is this on the body i don't know but because i'm assuming the white lines are like a seven liner so i think they're probably it's this is probably pretty close yeah yeah, I don't hate this thing, oddly enough. I feel like I should hate this thing, I but know. I just feel like I, I'm giving it so much leeway because of what it probably started as. Yeah. But I want to see it, so please send me what this was. Yeah, oh yeah. Because like that would that would make this way easier. I really like that little uh, red or purple in the eye. Yeah, me too. Because like uh, that feels like it was done over the black. I think uh, all of it was, and I think mm-hmm. I don't I don't mean to be hard on it, but I'm gonna be. Um, I think the the wrong colors are picked if this is fresh because yeah. this will be too subtle when it's healing. Yeah, it will be for sure. Like you kind of want it to look almost obnoxious first mm-hmm. and then the color will settle out to something that's yep. chill, right? So, yeah, do it to a point where it makes you uncomfortable. Yeah. Where it's like, oh. And you got to think settles. of like you got to think of like color theory. You're mi- you're whatever color you're putting in there, you're mixing with black. Yeah. So, yep. whatever that's going to be at the end of it, the purple will be too subtle, the red will be too subtle. Um, so don't be afraid to yeah, amp you gotta, up your color. You go like super, super bright colors. Yeah. Like out of this world bright. Yep. Like things you would never do in normal tests. <laughs> yeah. People would think you're crazy for, but that is what's going to get you your better result, I think. Yeah. But yeah, not not a bad shot. Yeah, I'd love not to a bad see swing the beginning it. of this. So. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Next up. We Got have a forearm tiger. Tiger, yeah. Uh, it's just kind of a cool take on a tiger. Yeah. But it's just t- it's taking up too much room for me. Like, yeah, that's This fair. guy has taken up a lot of real estate to be this fierce. Mm-hmm. Like, like I like this thing, but like I, n- I never have a place for a lengthwise design like this. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like I'm working around this fucking thing for the rest of my life now. Yeah. You're not wrong. <laughs> and, and because of those red, like, claw marks, like... 
it's really bordered itself in a way too, because mm-hmm. now it can't really be backgrounded as easily. Yep, no, those now things it's on the arm. Yeah, oddly enough, those things though they add a cool touch. If you're planning on doing a leg sleeve, or sorry, a sleeve with this guy, those marks are going to be real in the way. Mm-hmm. Like you could have done some shading around him easier without those there. Yeah, that's my opinion anyway. What do you think? I I mean I tend to agree. I kind of think like he. He did the face of a size that could do the face. Yeah. Like, the face is awesome. Like, absolutely awesome. Yeah, if like, just had that, perfect. Um, but then all of a sudden, did the face of a size that's good, but now all of a sudden you got this mad-ass big body. Yeah. Um, so, I, I don't know. I think... Flow's weird. I think, personally, really I would have always... Flow. Like, I know this is a thing, and I like the style and all that jazz, but just usually I would think of this to be about half of the size and then continue on with your patchwork kind of thing. Yeah. And then you don't have this kind of big thing. It, it's done well, you know. Yeah, I mean? it's done well. It's, I can't be mad at any of the execution, but you know, it's just the. I hate how long this thing has to be. See, I almost think this would have been like a leg one. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like this size thrown on a leg, it's not eating up as much real estate. I, his tail has such a weird, like, feel with this body shape. Mm-hmm. You know, like it, it just feels like you're cutting your arm in half. Yeah, with I mean, this you fucking are. thing. You are, yeah. I don't know. And it's not for me. Like, I'm assuming it's it'll very... be all trad, I hope. Um, yeah. Well, but, yeah, I don't know. I, I just think, like, the sizing's cool to get the detail, and it looks great, but I don't know. Not yeah, my first choice. Yeah, this is, to me, like, um, just putting art on your body rather than making your body art mm. is a very different thing. And I don't think that it's the wrong thing, no, necessarily. No, it's just but a different approach. Like, my approach has always been, I want my body, even when I was doing the first suit, it's like, my body is this piece. This piece is not on me necessarily. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and this just comes from a place that makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> it's right? the opposite of where it's, you had. It's too anti flow and too anti body. Yeah. <clears throat> and symmetry is a big deal to me. And this, unless you're going to do a cat the exact same way on the other art or something Good. else the same shape, it's, it's going to be hard. Yeah, that's fair. But yeah, again, we, yeah. Cool cat, though. It's done nice. I yeah. can't really argue with that. All right, next up. I love this. Yeah, I love this hand tattoo quite a bit. Um, it does stand out. I don't know why they decided to... Like, I like the the whole look of this guy, but why over the one knuckle? Like, they avoided all the other knuckles and then just went, fuck it, we're going on the knuckle. I mean, you know, everybody deserves a good amount of fuck it every once in a while. <laughs> so, here we go. The other thing that's particularly striking about this is... Like, the shading is so kind of wishy-washy. Mm-hmm. And then this guy is just, fuck it, I'm here now. Oh, yeah. Like, I'm here to fuck. I'm yeah, here to oh, yeah. fucking fuck, man. Yeah. Like, it's that just gorilla it's fucks. vicious, <laughs> right? Yeah. It, this one slaps. Oh, Out man. of nowhere, though. Yeah, There's oh, yeah. no lead up to just this. Just, like, soft, nice shading, delicate, and then, bam, you almost gorilla. Need, like, because, yeah, I don't even need to see the rest of the arm. It's just, this guy's just connected to fuck all. Yeah. You know, he's just... <laughs> Here I am, motherfucker. Yeah. Like, I'm sorry to keep dropping the f bomb, but man, <laughs> I mean, it's just it's it worth comes it out of nowhere. Yeah, like what is this attached to? Nothing. <laughs> and maybe that's what the gorilla wanted. You know, just you gotta be the lone gorilla in this respect. Yeah, this is a pretty good way to take a picture of this tattoo, though. It yeah. does. Uh, it frames the guy well. Yeah. Um, he sent some other work too. This was uh, my favorite piece in there. Um, this guy had some good work all around, but I would just say, like, darken up your shading, like, connect mm. it in a way that makes sense. Because even if you just made all that uh, gray shade, like, a, a, just a couple shades darker, this guy feels more attached to your arm and not just, like... Not hovering? Not hovering. Because, yeah. like, otherwise, like, I've got nothing bad to say about the shading on the wrist, yeah. necessarily. It's just, it looks so detached. Yeah. Like, it just looks like you just going to... Eh, I know I was doing this thing, but I want to do this now. Yeah. Right? Again, it's kind of like body. The, it was really only thought about as the individual piece. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And uh, when you're doing a full sleeve that connects to your hand, that hand is there to finish the sleeve as yeah. far as I'm concerned. So I would tend to agree with you. Yeah, that's my only big gripe here. Yeah, but I love the style. Mm. It's dope. All right, next up, Geisha. Yeah, Geisha girl with uh, some strange choices. <laughs> <laughs> Has seemingly no jaw, right? She's uh, got yep. like neck and face. Yep. And it's really hard to pick apart where the head and the neck end. Yep. Right? 
<laughs> one, of the, one of the things that I get always creeped out about is when, so like, when you deal with perspective and like the glint in the eye kind of thing. Yeah. Um, glint in the eye, we signify that as where the light source is coming from and where they're looking in relation to us. And when Trad does it, where it's just like mm. whatever, let's throw a let's throw a white yeah, dot. Yeah, looks somewhere. like she's wearing a snail on her head. <laughs> well, there's that too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sorry, no, I just no. had to point that out. Yeah, snail or with like maybe a fucking some, helmet. Some AKs coming out of her head here too. Yeah, there's just a lot of weird shit going on in the top half of this tattoo. Well, there's a lot of weird shit overall, but <laughs> like uh, that's definitely intentional. Oh yeah, I don't hate this thing. It's just Style. fucking bizarre. Yeah. Like peacock feather robe too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is yeah. This is overall very strange tattoo. It's haunting. <clears throat> yeah. The more I look at it, the more shapes I'm picking out of this thing. But yep. that whole hair head hat thing that's happening up there, <laughs> like it really does look like someone put like a brain slug on her. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like she's surprisingly still got her wits about her though. She doesn't oh, yeah, look yeah. all like vacant. At, well, I mean. The eyes, kind of. A little bit, but you know, there's this little bit of alien vibe. Yeah, you know? man, it's it's a weird piece. I still like it. Like though. I I love all of these like Japanesey kinds of things, but yeah. this is uh again you can do that style in a number of different ways. And this yeah. is not my favorite way. That's fair. I, I don't know what you do for background. Do you do color background now? Like, I mean, I would like because she's pretty dark. Or just like you know, <clears throat> really light wash sumi waves that yeah. kind of thing yeah the sumi waves yeah continue this i would love to see this thing develop more but like yeah it's just really really dark and blurry and messed up in the hair there <laughs> I, I don't know that doesn't really look like hair to me yeah that's fair like, and the photo's ha- tough on that one it's glary glare but even then it does look like she's wearing a helmet or something yeah like an old like knight's helmet or maybe she was i don't know it's, it's a hair it's, helmet it's really fucking weird man <laughs> <laughs> it's really really weird Explain your hair. That's what this one's called. <laughs> All right. Last but not least. Yeah, we got another Pokemon tattoo. There's a lot of Pokemon tattoos. Yeah, I love that. that. Like tons of Pokemon tattoos. Let me tell you something. My my, uh, my second fiance had uh, a Pikachu tail done yeah. by some butcher. Oh, really? And it just. Just the tail? Yeah, just the tail like okay. on her back. I figured. Like it was like she was wearing like a Pikachu tail. Yep. Because, yeah. Anyway, it was. It was really bad. The colors weren't in, and <laughs> yeah, the brown was really not there. Yeah. It was just bad. I don't and, doubt it. And I had uh, the person I was going to at the time try and touch it up, and she made it even worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this Pikachu tail is just going to be blacked out. One, or it should be anyway. Yeah, it, it won't be, be, but. It'll just be a lightning bolt. It's one of those point. things where, like, it was the only tattoo this person had, too. Oh, no. And it's like, when you get. You get one of those done poorly, and it's your only one. There's yeah. a good chance you might not get another one. I would think not. I just thought I'd bring that up because these Pokemon tattoos keep coming up. Yep. Uh, this Gengar is not my favorite. No, nope. like, he's not That's my favorite fair. Gengar. I think he's he belongs on a leg. Yeah, I would like, agree. I, he doesn't really get meet the mark of Gengar for me. Gengar is like, from what I remember, because I played the first Pokemon games for mm-hmm. sure. Like a trickster, you know? Yeah. He's like uh, fucking with people. Yep. Messing around. This guy looks like soulless, you know? <laughs> like it doesn't, and it, the color would have helped. Like he's got color in the tongue. And the teeth. And teeth, which I don't know that you needed that. No. You needed if some you weren't going to do the purple. Yeah, you need some purple and black in this guy. Yeah, you need the purple a lot. And like what, red eyes? Or maybe the purple was in there. And I think this he had red eyes. Yeah. I oh think boy, so. what is he just suntan the fuck? Maybe. And the purple. Or maybe just this fell is out? as far as they got. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's maybe weird. they have to come back and do the purple and. Yeah, yeah. Red we'll the do the we'll do the other thirteen minutes of this uh, <laughs> hour. We'll get him in. We'll get him in. Do yeah, all the highlights. We'll, <laughs> we'll get him darker. Yeah, no fucking problem. Push things you back. Highlights. <laughs> it's fucking. <laughs> it's a two hour at the most exact, tattoo. Yeah. Three times to get oh, this yeah. guy finished. Yeah. Yeah, we, we know a little about that. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I would give him some red eyes, like mm-hmm. some red cartoony eyes. Yeah, and hit some heavy hit, purple. Yeah, get that tongue, get some more detail in the tongue, too, because this isn't like parts of this are pretty detailed for what it is. Yeah. And then other parts of it have no detail. Yeah. Well, yeah. So it's like kind of weird. Yeah. Like it's like you kind of fucking half-assed this thing. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's like, let's do Gengar, but not do Gengar. Let's do Gengar, but like 65%. Hey, what if we do Silhouette Gengar <laughs> so that people know what we were look, look, wanting to do? Yeah. And then we just don't do it. Yeah. They'll right? know that we're not done. Yeah. But anyway, I do like these Pokemon tattoos quite a bit. Yeah, me uh, too. I like seeing these guys, but this is probably the worst one we've seen yet because yeah. even his body shape, he looks more like, like um, he looks more like Clefable. Yeah. This is another Pokemon. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> yeah, like if Gengar and Clefable had yeah, like exactly. a, a demon child. Doesn't really work for me. That's fair. But I, I guess I knew what I was looking at, though. So yeah, it's true. It did it's work. It's the well outline enough. of Gengar. <laughs> Anyway, right, so yeah, yeah, keep sending these, uh, yeah, like and subscribe and all yep. that jazz, and we'll keep on talking shit.